Hi, my name is Mark, and I'd like to welcome you to Creative Thought Design. I know you're probably wondering who this strange guy is and why I look like an Amish Wolverine. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've spent 23 years in ministry, eight as a youth minister, which segued into four years as a worship pastor, and that led to the role of senior associate. And from there, since one of my degrees is in electronic media, I segued into television. I had done years of voiceover, which eventually got me my first gig with the Walt Disney Company in California in 2006 as the voice of Marshmallow the Pardon Thanksgiving Turkey. <laughs> Since then, I've had the privilege of working in four lines of business with Walt Disney World here in Florida, Yellow Shoes, Mom's Panel, Disney Cruise Line, and Creative Inc. I've worked in such areas as voiceover, creative consultant, a special events photographer, I've done video editing, I'm also a drone pilot, and a jingle writer. I've also worked with amazing companies like the National Railroad Museum, the Federal Veterans Administration, NASCAR, Mason of Japan, Believe Animation, and the Ford Motor Company. And that's just to name a few. And before you think I'm just your average narcissist, <laughs> I have a purpose behind showing you a little bit of my journey. Not too long ago, at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, the word innovate was used 650,000 times in the first few days. And by the end, it was used 24 million times. That's every 8.2 seconds for those of you counting. All the professionals in the creative business that I know are reshaping the worldwide workplace and the creation of ideas as we speak. In fact, and I do not say this lightly, there is a global renaissance happening right now in the area of creativity and innovation. I believe more than ever before that this renaissance that is in motion is an opportunity for the church. Why, you may ask? Well, unless you've been living under a rock, it is clear that we are currently transitioning into what experts are calling a post-Christian culture. Yes, we have been juxtaposed between healer and hate group. We've lost incalculable amounts of credibility. We're losing parishioners and closing churches by the hundreds every month. Don't freak out. Sure, we're overwhelmed, but we have choices. And we're being challenged to discover solutions that bring about necessary change. And I believe that we're at a tipping point to stay the same and die an irrelevant death or reinvent ourselves. Yes. Next time on Creative Thought Design. If there was ever a time to pivot towards change, folks, that time is now.